Hello, hello, hello! This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts and we are back to see what this journal has done and see if our pocket actually works. It's been hours, hours! Instead of throwing those down there, let me just toss them in the drawer up there. And let's see if it opens. Ah, look at that! It's a pocket! Yeah! Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Now let's make sure these open. Yep, and there's our little indoor pocket. Yay! So, and on this side now, I made, I started to make, I should say, the opposite flap. And once again, it's bas basically done the exact same way as I did this first and second one. So, um, yeah, yeah, look at that. So it's going to go right here and hook on here and then of course it will flap over like that and hmm what should I do for a tie and will that be enough or do we need to add something else to it why don't we decorate this page and finish up this piece and let's just let's just kind of go and see what happens. Let me close these drawers. And let's see. I think I'm going to have this one open here. I don't remember what I discussed before. But um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Uh, let me find the paper pack that I've been using. Oh, so much stuff gathered around me. Oh my gosh. So this is the paper pack I've been drawing from. And you know, that's kind of that orangey color. So, you know, we could go with something like this. It's very pretty and it's very um, vintage looking. I love that. Um, the orange, I think, is maybe a little too orangey for me right now, unless I do like an orangey album. Let's go with this one. And I think on the inside of that envelope, not that we need to dress the inside up, I do love one of these. This one, I think that's nice and grungy. Um, oh boy, that's a pretty paper, isn't it? Um, 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 she says, oh, hey, what about something like that? Or maybe a, maybe a book page. I mean, this is, looks like a book page. Hey, look at these. Neat. That's a nice ephemera page. Oh, look at this. Now, isn't that one pretty? Oh, you can't see the whole thing. Let me back you a little bit. Sheesh, Ange. That's not very nice. Show them all these things and not show them anything at all. There. It has that. Have I used that one yet? Now, this orangey one. I love that one. I think that's very pretty. Another great ephemera page in here. Um, there was kind of a mustardy yellow one that I was thinking about using. I'm just not sure where it's at. I 
I must have passed it by somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, that's a nice one. And so is that. Oh, they're all nice. I love this page. We've used it, I think. Okay, mustardy yellow. That's a nice one. Isn't that pretty? That would make a nice one on the outside of the envelope somewhere. A nice cover, maybe. Do, 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 do. My thumb's getting tired of holding those pages. I don't know where it is. Maybe it was another packet I saw it in or something. I love that paper. I'm ho I'm hogging it up. That's always a good one, especially inside of an envelope. I, I really don't know what happened to it. Oh, there it is. That's the one I was thinking about for the inside of the envelope. So, first things first, we find a pencil that has a lead, and then we mark this off. Yeah, I think right there is okay. We don't have to have it too matchy-matchy, do we? It has to go down to the bottom. And we have to, we don't want to bring it clear up to the last fold. We want to bring it up to the fold of the envelope, which is right down here. So that's about, what, an eighth of an inch. So, and the reason we want to do it that way is to leave space for the book to open and close easily. Okay, so we cut that one there and hmm, what did I do with the other one? Well, first we'll cut that one and see what happens. Remember what side it was on. It'll be the side that matches up down here. Oh, that is it right there. Right there. Oh, isn't that pretty? So this is going to go inside of here. Now really, it does not need to be this deep. So I think, I think I'll slice it down just a bit on the side so it fits a little easier. No sense in making it too hard on ourselves. And then I think Perhaps I'm going to go from there to maybe right here because it only needs to be hidden because it's going to be going to be such a shallow pocket that um, we're not not going to be able to open it very far to see inside. Let's see if that fits a little bit better. Probably be way too small now. Well, only has to go to there. So actually, 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 it works out just fine. Right there to there. Okay. 
<laughs> never get it out of there now. We will need some. This is distressing oxide, so it'll be a little bit darker. Oh, there's the other one, right over there, right beside me. Isn't that pretty though? I don't know if you can see how pretty that is against this yellow. It's beautiful. Okay. Keep your fingers crossed that the glue works because unfortunately I left the room and did not cap my glues that I was already having a bit of a problem with. So I'm just going to have to squeeze it a little tighter. Don't need a lot in here. Yep, time to soak it out of there. I don't know why these always give you such a problem. You know, you think you can get them in there and then they they really don't just go in. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm, I'm going to put a little bit on here because I don't want it to, um, if it gets caught up there, I don't want this to, to tear the, the rest of it. Okay, now, I think, let me put this over there behind me. I think this goes really nicely here with these colors. So that is what I'm going to use. I'm going to take it all the way to the top of my envelope here. And there. I'm going to put a mark right there. And I'm going to measure it side to side. Put a mark right over there. Okay. Let's see. I think we'll cut this way first and then to there. Somebody's got a basketball out there. Okay, now what we need to decide here is how we want this opening to be. Do we want just a little pocket opening or what? What do we want? Um, the one thing that we're going to want to do, this is a thin paper, so I'm going to put this on the back so wherever we have our opening, it's a little bit more structured there. Do we want it like that or do we want to fold it over? We'll just glue it. Let's see. No, I don't want that. Nope, nope. I think, I think we'll just put it on back there. Oh, look, a glue worm. See it?
There it is. Right there. You go over there. There we go. Maybe that'll help. I think it's just time to clean out the... Oh, I saw another one. Now it's working. I'm just going to, um, it doesn't have to go clear to the edge. Sorry if my hair got in the way. Darn hair, always in the way. Noise, noise. So much noise, Angela. Okay. No, seriously. Here we go. Oh, that made it wrinkly. Okay. Now, decisions, decisions. What kind of opening do we want there? Hmm. Hmm. What should we do? It's got to go clear down here. Okay. I think, perhaps... We'll give it kind of a, do a, I have a big ground one. I thought I had my oval one out here somewhere, but I don't see it. Uh, we could just kind of cut it. Good, cut it to fit that. But then that would be a worthless piece we put up there, wouldn't it? Decisions, decisions. Well, we're going to let me grab my oval punch. Oops, stepped on my cord here. Oh, goodness, this drawer is heavy. Okay, so how long is this? It is eight and, oh, almost eight and a half. Wowie. Oh, wait. This one always mixes me up. Let me grab my centering ruler. There's four and that'll be perfect right there. So the center is right about here. So we want to take this. This is a Stampin' Up 2 inch by 1 and 3 eighths. And we'll stick the center down there and go, I don't know, about the middle here. Let's see what that looks like. I think that'll be fine. That will be fine. Is it usable though? You know, we want it, we want it to be usable. I kind of feel like it's not usable. Well, perhaps once this is glued to this, It'll be fine.
And once it's um, down, we may need to go around the edges again. Whoops, went too far. Gently massage it down. I think it's going to be fine as long as whatever I put in there has a tab that kind of sticks out right here. That way it can go in and out of there without, you know, getting hung up and stuff. But how pretty is that? Isn't that beautiful? I can see already that I need to clip that just a little bit because it is actually going to hang up there. See? So what we'll do is clip from here up towards the corner like that and we'll do the same over here. Okay, I'm going to take just a little bit more off of <laughs> Always hard to get your scissors to work the way you want them to. I could have put um, Well, I may still have to do it. Put a little pad into there and clip it with um, See, I don't think I can get these scissors in there at all. Yeah. I just have a little bump there I want to cut off. There we go. Okay. Oh, I love the grunge with that. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. Yeah, look at that. Very pretty. So, I'm just going to turn this a little bit. See where it's opening there? I'm going to have to fix that by putting some more glue in there. But before I do, I wanna, want to get in there with this ink. Now. Okay. 
That's better. There we go. Now we will have to decorate that up. I mean, that's not good enough yet. But I think that looks really nice. Okay. So let's go back here. We need to start here. And um, we have that on there. Have it there. We don't need it here. We have that in there. And this one's going to open at the top. And I think. Are we opening that one at the top as well? Or were we going to open this one out here? Let me look on the other side. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think I have this one opening on this side. <laughs> I'm all mixed up. I'm so confused. But we have this one opening at the top. Okay, well, let's just decorate this up a little bit and then it will be just about time for me to think about dinner. Um, we could perhaps put music page on there. We did put it somewhere else, didn't we? Right back in here. So we could... Put some on here. Here it is. That could be the outside. We might put a, a different cover. I don't know. I think if this is going to be the this side and that's going to be the outside. Well, there's nothing wrong with the yellow, but I think it should be a solid, you know, because like I said, I really like those, the butterflies, but I think we're a little more grungy than the butterflies in here. And we have the yellow there, so we don't really need to put it out here, but... Mm. I don't like it. I do love this color. Especially... If 
I took this and if I could all possibly fall off, find my tear ruler right here. <laughs> I could tear that. That. And then bring it over just a little bit. I think I'll fold that over the edge there, right there, is what I'll do. And then in here, maybe we'll put this on. It's not really enough to put over the edge there. So let's just glue this one down here, but and then if we need some tape to cover that, we'll wait till we have both sides done and then we'll put the tape around and cover it here and there. That would work. And let's see. That could go right to there. And that would cover over that edge, and then we don't have to worry about the top, really. See there? Look at that. Let's see what happens. Every day I fall in love with a new color. I love these paper packs. I love to buy them because they always have really cool papers in them. But then I think, gosh, you know, they're so thin. those. Did I press record? Am I talking? Okay. You got me. Got me. Got me. You got me. Okay. So we're going to let this one hang over and we'll fold it over as well. But I need to grunge up the side a little bit. I'm going to use glue stick on this one because um, it um, the paper is so soft that it just kind of um, the the wet glue it, it's really hard on it. Does that make sense? Does this make sense? And this is a little drier on it. Sorry about the noise.
that out of the way. Okay, we're going right to there, to there, to there, to there. We'll have to cut some of that off the bottom. And then we're going to fold that right there. You can see how sometimes using the glue stick is a lot better option. And then, here I tore that so nicely too. Maybe stand it up this way. There we go. That's a little bit better. I don't really want to clip that envelope. But I did. Twice. Three times probably. Yeah, look at that. I might have to bandage that up with some... Um, We'll find out. We'll find out soon enough. Yeah, how pretty is that? That is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? You go over there. Uh, let's see. Now, what else did I get out? Oh, yes. Cut out this one. And see, I think this would be pretty in here. Um, it's going to be a top opening. That's the side, that's the top. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay. really can't go much past that. So what we need is something right there. Now this is where I used washi tape before too. So I think that's what we're going to have to do there. Um, let me grab a different washi tape. I'm going to take my little cord with me here. Oh, that's pretty. Have that. And then I have that that I really like. Okay. So I have this, and what's neat about this one is it kind of matches in with that yellow a little bit. This one does too. It's very nice. And then here's this one. Um, and then here's this one, which is a nice wide one. It doesn't really need to be that wide. But it makes it nice if it's going to reinforce something like that. Cut the 
soft right about there. And then it's going to go inside of there up to right about here. I don't remember where I got this one. I'm sorry. I think it was at, what was it called? Wintertime Crafts. They um, deal in um, Chinese exports, imports, whatever you call them. I think that's what they are, or Japanese or something. Okay, so that is going to go there. I wonder how sticky this one is. Not very. Not very. So, just going to go around it. Squish some in the center. Some this way, some that way. Oh, we don't want to cover our window. Whew. Almost covered up the window, guys. That would have been very sad. As it was, I glued the window. see I'm gonna have to cut that down because it doesn't like that washi tape there so I need to cut this envelope down a little bit to make it fit better with the window or with the with the washi Maybe once it's glued down, it'll be fine. Because remember, it's top opening. I mean, if you wanted, you could actually cut it at an angle. And it could be a really big opening. But I don't want to do that. Okay. But what I do want to do is... Oh, it has its backing paper. And it has that. What I want it to have, maybe. Do I want it to be right there? Do I need that? I mean, I don't really need it, but it's kind of nice when it's all covered. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. Oh, that is just going to fit in there, you guys. Just need to take a little tiny piece off of there. Um, I think we'll do it with this, because it doesn't have to be very much. Just got to even it up a little bit. The where I'm running into problems is with the window again. I don't want that to come over the window. Well, this needs to be a little bit more. My measuring's not been very good, has it? 
that'll be more than enough, I'm sure. Um, glue stick. Pound, pound, pound. You hear my heart pounding? <laughs> Guy had got pounding the other night. We watched a scary movie. It scared me. <laughs> I'm sure my husband thinks me. <laughs> I used to always watch scary movies, and I just loved them, you know. And I still love them, but I do get scared. You know, the scary movies are scary. if I'm out of camera there a little bit so you can see what I've done in here now let me show you is <laughs> oh. just made it a very nice looking pocket so now what we want to do is go ahead and glue this piece down Sorry, Mr. Glue. You kind of got in my way. Hopefully it'll hold this piece of paper okay. Looks nice. If that won't hold that down, then we'll um, have to use um, that other glue on it. Now, we do have this. We do have this one. Maybe we want to tear an opposite effect over here and put it with this. Why not? about that piece there about this getting wrinkly you know where it opens and closes hmm yeah I am and I tried to leave a space there you know but I am a little bit concerned about that. Well, I guess if it does, we'll just have to um, I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. Okay, so first I'm going to cut this down. Now 
this way and this way. There's a nice little piece. Now, do we or don't we? Do we or don't we? We do or we know. I wonder. Maybe make it just a little bit different. And then here to there. So I'm going to cut it off. Actually, a little bit higher. And then I'm going to take it off over here. Okay. So right here to right here. like that and because I miss that spot there I'm going to put something there what should we put there um, this is where I like to find a little piece of paper that I have in the in the drawer and then I like to use them Like this. See? So let's glue this little piece down. I love that. When you look at something and you're like, oh look at that little piece of paper peeking out there. Isn't that just so adorable? I love that. What I do with my towel. There it is. Okay, so now let's glue this one down. We better do a little grungy around it. Um, there we go. Here's this part. Um. <laughs> oh, hello. Where did you go? I am making a giant mess, you guys. Giant. I tell you. A giant has been in my room. Okay. Now I'm going to... Go across there. And go across there. And this will be the last part we do on this is to cover it. And then we'll have to come back at another time and do a little more. I'm going to bend this through and see where it pops up. And you can see that it's popping up just like that. So let's put this on there. This is the Fabri-Tac. 
And yeah, it's about time for me to go. I think I've kept you too long. So what happens when you work without a timer? Because when you're doing this, you lose track of time. So we may have to sew that together by hand. Just like that. You saw how that was done. Was this the piece I was using? I don't think so. No, that's not it. There it is. Okay. get this finished so that I can go worry about dinner and you guys can go worry about dinner and or breakfast or lunch or I don't know hanging out with another youtuber for a while ooh 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 We'll bring it in just a little bit. We're going to have to because I don't want to put too much up there. It just, those areas just don't handle it well. Isle of Enchantment. Okay, now this one. Little of this, little of that. Rushing, 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 rushing around the edges. Wait, don't hang up yet. <laughs> I'm almost there. You want to see this through to the little end right here. Not that anything great's going to happen with it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Look at that. We'll have to put some um <laughs> good thing it's a junk journal. Just too much stuff here was worried about this paper falling on the floor. Now it's covered with threads and cat hair. And I was worried about this cat hair that was right here. I got it. Okay. Okay. So, 
Anyway, that is what we've gotten done for today. We actually got quite a bit done. There, see? Very nice. And we've got our pocket here. And when we put this piece on, we have to remember to... I think we'll use this envelope on the over part. So we'll have to put a, a little thing here. A little button thing. This little guy. And it can go there right by the window. I think they'll look nice. The string will hang down on it. It'll be pretty. Okay. I will see you next time. Thank you very much for joining me and for helping me make these um, envelope wishes come true. All right. I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.